What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Austinator, and welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K22 My GM Mode. We are one episode away from Clash of the Champions, and we have two massive matchups that we are going to show here on this episode. So without further ado, let's get it started. As in our opening match for Monday Night, for Monday Night Raw, we have Randy Orton taking on Karrion Cross. These two have been kind of at, have been having a war of words over the last couple of weeks as Randy Orton, who recently lost the title. And you have Karrion Cross who wants to get back into title contention here. But in order for him to do so, he has to go through Randy Orton to do so. But Randy Orton, who's also sitting on a who can't get a rematch for the title, just wants to get a big win over Karrion Cross. Can he do it? Let's find out. As Karrion Cross gets a massive win to kick off Raw, as we get a two and a half star matchup here to kick things off. Very solid start to Monday Night Raw, as not only does this feud grow up to Randy Orton and Cross, so it seems like this feud is far from over as Cross finally gets a massive win. Something that Karrion Cross has been kind of lacking for a while. Now we get a call out promo from Tegan Knox to Becky Lynch. Both women will be fighting at the pay per view to determine who will be the next challenger, if you will, for the Raw Women's Championship. But you also have Mia Yim in the background, who also recently got a mat big win over Bianca Belair. She also might have a chance to be in title contention as well, but we will find out uh, after Clash of Champions as Liv Morgan will actually be taking on Raquel. Gonzalez for the Raw Women's Championship at, at the Clash, so as we get a call promo and a good call out promo And now we get a we get a very interesting matchup here between Bobby Lashley and Tucker now both men are just fighting here because Tucker wanted a match against Bobby Lashley and I am afraid to inform everybody that as far as Tucker and Otis go, this will more than likely be their last week here on Raw as their contracts are expiring and we just they we just need to go we just need to go elsewhere. So this is Tucker's final matchup here on Raw, and Otis is gonna run in to help his friend Tucker here, but is it going to be enough? One, two, three. No, Bobby Lashley gets a big win. Something that oh but oh that's not good. A rivalry between Otis and Lashley that's never gonna happen unless we get a contract extension. So. We might, I might need to, to negotiate a contract ex, uh, negotiation with Otis then if we're going to have this feud between Otis and Lashley. But oh, Lashley getting a big win here. Again, he's kind of been, kind of been lacking over the last couple of weeks since his bit, SummerSlam matchup. But that's neither here nor there. As Keith Lee calling out Joaquin Wilde. Both men just... Uh, Joaquin Wilde getting a big one over Keith Lee last... I believe it was like an episode... Last episode of the episode beforehand. But Keith Lee won. Get some revenge on Joaquin Wilde. And... He will more than likely get the chance at Clash of the Champions as a call promo. Excellent promo. Rivalry goes from level 1 to level 2. And then in our co-main event, we have a tag team match as the Raw Women's Champion Raquel Gonzalez teams up with Bayley to take on former champion Bianca Belair and Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan, who will be getting her match against Raquel Gonzalez for the Raw Women's Championship at Clash of the Champions, the former champion Bianca Fe Belair failed to regain the championship. A few episodes ago, and you got Bailey, who's been in previous title contention. So basically, this is just a match of four women who've been in title contention before. But you have a former women's champion, former two former women's tag team champions, and the current Raw Women's Champion all colliding here. So this is a massive match in its own right here. So who will go in to clash the champions with the with the momentum? Let's find out. As it's Raquel Gonzalez and Bailey getting a massive win in a two and a half star matchup. As we get a level two tag feud between all four women. That's actually very interesting. So I'm wondering if we're going to get some sort of payoff at some point. We'll find out soon as The Rock is cutting a charity promo. Hopefully to get us some fans here and an excellent promo for 5,000 fans. You'll love to see it. And now we get to our main event, which is a pay-per-view worthy main event, as the Raw Tag Team Champions Finn Balor and Murphy defend the Raw Tag Team Championships against the WWE Champion Roman Reigns and Robert Roode. This match came about as Imperium stated that they were not going to be using the rematch clause yet. They're once again going to hold on to it, just like Jeff Hardy and Ricochet, and... So Robert Roode, who recently, who last episode actually lost in the finals of the number one contenders tournament to Finn Balor, and now he'll be challenging the 
WWE champion whenever he wants. So Robert Roode wanted some revenge, wanted a match against Finn Balor, and Finn Balor agreed, but only if it was a tag match. And Robert Roode agreed for the Raw Tag Titles, and he could choose a partner. And his partner is the WWE champion Roman Reigns, who will be taking on Murphy. So all four men have a history with each other. Who is going to come out on top here as the Raw Tag Team Champions going into Clash of the Champions? Let's find out as we kick as we kick off the main event to Monday Night Raw. And here we go. Huge, huge arena here in Austin, Texas. As everything is bigger in Texas from what I've heard. And out first is the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns. We, we are going to be doing huge stadium shows at after, before the week before the pay-per-view. So this is basically your first look at this mass arena. And of course, when you're doing a huge pay-per-view build-up. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. And is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers first. From Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! The WWE Champion Roman Reigns, who is who is currently in, the, in his second title reign, and his first title defense will be at Clash of the Champions against Murphy. But Roman Reigns has a chance to make history in my GM mode to be the first person on either brand to hold the World Championship and the Tag Team Championship at the same time. And on the run that Roman Reigns has had in my GM mode thus far, it could be possible. Seeing as Roman Reigns has defeated the likes of Keith Lee, Randy Orton, The Rock, Murphy, who would be taking on Karrion Cross. This guy is basically beating everybody there is to beat thus far. But... He's going to be tag teaming with somebody who's had an impressive tournament run as he beat Keith Lee and I believe he also beat Gunther to get to this point. I mean, the song is very popular. I mean, you guys can't hear it, but Robert Roode, very popular with the crowd here in Austin, Texas. Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Robert Roode. As I said before, Robert Roode having an impressive performance in the tournament kind of gave him the opportunity for the Raw Tag Team Championship as Robert Roode kind of wanted revenge against Finn Balor. But also Roman Reigns wanted to take on Murphy beforehand, so we just decided, hell, let's do a tag team match for the Raw Tag Team title since Imperium won't be using their title rematch. Roman Reigns just looking on at Robert Roode, that just oozing confidence. I mean, Robert Roode, a former Raw Tag Team Champion in his own right. Roman Reigns, also a former Tag Team Champion with current SmackDown superstar Seth Rollins. Robert Roode won the Raw Tag Titles with Dolph Ziggler and Chad Gable, making him a two-time champion. A lot of Finn chants here. I think out of everybody, Finn Balor is most popular here in Austin, Texas. And out comes the Prince, the winner, the first winner of the number WWE Championship Number One Contenders Tournament. There'll be a Raw Women's Championship Roman Number One Contenders Tournament Roman soon. Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, he is one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions. Finn Balor. I mean, this crowd loving Finn Balor here. And you got it. You got to have to respect the run that Finn Balor has had here on Raw. I mean, sure, he kind of had some missteps along the way, but Finn Balor has managed to recover nicely, and now he's getting a future chance at the WWE Championship. 
but at the same time, he is he is one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions in a unlikely tag team with fellow number one contender Murphy, who has has his shot at well, I guess you could call it the Golden Destiny, if you will, at Clash of the Champions, as Murphy gets a chance to take on Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship. And Finn Balor just wanting to prove that his win in the tournament was not a fluke. As Finn Balor with the with the finger guns pointing them more than likely at Robert Roode and Roman Reigns. Because this is a chance for Finn Balor to prove himself here in the main event. As you have Finn Balor who, like I said earlier, has really have yet to really be able to prove himself in a main event position since... Since having to vacate the Universal Championship in 2016. And Finn, and Finn Balor has tons of championship success here. But he has yet to hold the big one and be able to carry the brand. But And he has the... And he, ha, and he might be able to face Roman Reigns in the future. But in order for him to do so, he's got to... He's got to hope that Murphy loses. But... That's kind of a weird position for him to be in. But speaking of the number one contender, here comes the uh, the number one contender for the championship right now, and one half of the tag team champions, Murphy, who's have who's got a very mixed well, response no, here. Weighing in at 213 pounds, he is one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Murphy. Speaking of unlikely runs in my GM mode. This guy has had in a uh, very unlikely situation, as not only is this his second opportunity at the WWE Championship, but he's been on a roll. I mean, first of all, I mean, he did beat Roman Reigns in the, or one of the earlier episodes of this season. Plus, Murphy is one half the Raw, one the, became one half, one half the Raw Tag Champs, beat Karrion Cross. I mean, this guy, this guy could more than likely be the favorite going into the WWE Championship match. Is a, again, a very mixed response here. And Murphy just oozing again, very confident, saying it's all about him at Clash of the Champions. As now he's sitting in the corner waiting for, for this match to get underway. This is going to be very interesting here. Oh, everything will turn out here as we're in Austin, Texas, and here, and there it is. That's the championship that all four men will be fighting over, the Raw Tag Team Championships. As now you have, I, you have all four men in the ring. Looks like they're talking trash here. Well, Robert Roode, but Roman Reigns is just focused. Not doing anything, just like Murphy and Balor, they're also focused here. I mean, this is going to be a hell of a main event with just all four names involved. And we have Pete, the referee, with the Raw Tag Team Championships. Looking to get one up on the Tribal Chief. And now Finn Balor and Roman Reigns. This could be a sign of the future, if you will. Oh, but Roman Reigns starting. Punch of the face. And a big headbutt to the back of the head. Roman Reigns with a aggressive start with a shot to the face. And now Roman Reigns with a bunch of stops to the leg. And now a sh elbow drop to the other leg. Quick cover by Reigns to win the Raw Tag Team Championships here, but not even a one count. Roman Reigns just with the aggressive start early on. Another shot to the face of Finn Balor. And now, oh, Finn Balor gets out of it. And now he grabs it from the back. Elbow to the back. And now Finn Balor, final cut to Roman Reigns. And now tag to Murphy. And this is, could this be a sign of things to come at Clash of the Champions? But oh, Roman Reigns caught him before Murphy could do anything as Reigns with a big boot to Murphy. Murphy is stunned. Oh, shot by Murphy. Murphy with a bunch of strikes. Murphy has defeated Reigns before, so... If Murphy can defeat Roman Reigns in Clash of the Champions, he will win the championship. But tonight, it's all about the Raw Tag Team Championships as Murphy throws Roman out of the ring. Oh, wait. Oh, springboard dropkick. Oh, now Murphy going after Rude. Murphy is fighting both men on by himself. 
This is what you like to see from a big knee to the face of Reigns. Murphy is in control here. Oh my god. Oh! Wait a minute. Roll up into a setup power bomb. Murphy just fighting both men. Uh oh. Murphy in a unfortunate situation here as Reigns with a jackhammer on the floor. Good lord. Oh, but Murphy fighting back. And into the steps goes Reigns. And now Murphy looking to... Oh, no, an elbow to the midsection of Murphy. I don't know what he was going for there. But a strike by Reigns with a back elbow to the face. And now Roman Reigns blocking, but again into the face of Reigns. This is just a brawl on the floor between both men. But Murphy's going to go back inside the ring. As Murphy gonna Murphy is gonna take his time here. Oh, but I think he may have been I think he took way too much time taunting Reigns as a tag to Robert Roode and big axe handle to the arm. Very nice tag teaming here but between Roode and Reigns, but Murphy counters with an inverted DDT. And now a tag to Finn Balor, and now here we go. This is what happened previous episode and code breaker! Two knees to the face of Robert Roode. And now it looks like a... It looks like a... I, I don't know. It looks like a figure four-ish Cloverleaf. As now Finn Balor... Working on the knee of Robert Roode. And again, this crowd just... Absolutely all over Finn Balor. And now Finn Balor's got Robert Roode up. No! Rude had, was up in the suplex, and now turning into a German suplex to Finn Balor. As now Robert Rude looking to uh, wear down Finn Balor here, as he's looking to put him back, in the, back into his corner. And now Robert Rude with a bunch of stops to Finn Balor. As Finn Balor is stunned. And now a punch to the face of Finn Balor. And now Robert Roode again. It looks like he's going to throw Finn Balor back into that corner. And again, it, he's not going for that tag. I think Robert Roode just wants to prove a point here with a sunset flip. Oh, but he does not go for the cover. And now Robert Roode with a big blow to the back of, of Finn Balor. And now a glorious... I mean, again, that confidence of Robert Roode. Tag back to Reigns. As now Finn Balor. Oh, big forearm to the face of Reigns. Now Finn Balor going to throw Roman into the corner. Oh, no. He may be looking for the signature, but Roman Reigns countered and just throws Finn Balor right into that corner. But Finn Bal Roman Reigns is going to make sure that Finn cannot get to his partner, Murphy. As a quick cover again. Not hooking the leg here. Very interesting from Reigns. No, a kick out at one. As now Roman Reigns picking up Finn Balor. Go for the Superman. No, he missed. He missed the Superman punch. Oh, low blow. The referee didn't see it. And now a big... Just plants about his back. I mean that's a way to get out of get out of that situation. And now throws him into the corner. Big form to the face. And now Finn Balor looking for a big knee to the face. Good lord, cover by Finn to retain the championships. No, a kick out at one. If I'm if I'm Finn Balor here, I would make a tag. Oh, tag. Roman with the hot tag to Robert Roode. Kick to the midsection. Another one. Chop. Punches to the face of Finn Balor. Another one. Just several strikes to Finn Balor. And now Robert Roode going to choke Finn Balor on that top rope. And now Finn Balor just draped over that middle rope. And now stop. Just a kick to that back. Of Finn Balor. Cover. Can we see new, new champs? No. Two and a half. That was close. 
Tag to, tag to Murphy. On oh, a big bicycle kick to Robert Roode. Oh, now big stop to the... Uh-oh. Looking for Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law. To retain the championships. Two. No, a kick out of two. Chance of tag team wrestling and Murphy with with that strike combination into the knee to the face of Robert Roode. Tag back to Finn. I mean, Robert Roode's knocked out, but Finn looking for a cover on Robert Roode. And Roman Reigns is standing there. No, a kick out again. Good Lord. Now Finn Balor looking to drag Robert Roode to that corner. Plants his face and uh oh, maybe looking for that shotgun drop kick, and he hits it, hitting the shotgun drop kick to Robert Roode. But now Robert Roode looking for his own cover. But now he's cheating on the ropes. But Roman Reigns having to break up the pin. Wait a minute, Murphy, Murphy's law to Reigns. Shot by Roode. Got him, got him draped across the chest of Rude and throws him into the top turnbuckle as Robert Rude chop and now a bunch of strikes over the shoulders goes Murphy into a sucker punch. Rude just not having it here. I mean, Murphy just took out Reigns with Murphy's Law. And now Rude just choking the life out of Murphy here. I went for an elbow drop, but I think Rude got too overzealous there. Punch to the face of Rude. Into the into the corner. Another punch to the face. Oh, big elbow to the just across the face of Rude. Oh, and a kick to the back go of Murphy. Oh wait, maybe may have looked for a shot there, but Rude. Just counter that punch, and now Rude with the Northern Lights. This is a very aggressive matchup here, and now a bunch of punches to the face by Rude, just punching the daylights out of him, and tag back to Reigns. I don't think Reigns is having it here. Now Superman punched to Murphy, but he did not get all of it. Covered by Reigns to win the Raw Tag Team Championships, but a Finn Balor breaks up the pin. Oh, now Finn Balor fighting off Rude and Reigns. And he's doing it successfully here. I don't know what Finn's going for there, but a punch to the face of Balor. And now just Roman Reigns throwing Finn Balor out of the ring. And now he's got him up. He's got him in a pump handle. And a pump handle throw to Murphy. Good Lord. This crowd is just on their feet right now. Big, just big shot to the back of Murphy. And now, oh, look at this, a covered cover. We can, we can see new champs here. No, but Finn Balor breaks up the pin again. Oh, wait a minute. Rude. Glorious DDT. But Finn Balor fighting off Reigns as well. Oh, oh I, I think Finn's busted open there. Oh, now Robert Roode is busted open. Good God. And now Murphy with just this aggressive, with the aggressive elbow drops to the knee of Robert Roode. Cover to retain the championships here. And they do. A uh, very interesting finish there, but good Lord, what a match. Finn Balor and Murphy retain the Raw Tag Team Championships. I believe this is their second defense of the championship, so the titles still will not be defended at Clash of the Champions, but we do know who will be one half of the champions going into the pay-per-view as Murphy goes into his championship match with Roman Reigns as one half of the tag champs. Three and a half star main event. You love to see it.
God, what a match to get to conclude. To just conclude this pay this epic edition of Monday Night Raw as Murphy and Balor retain the Raw Tag Team Championships in a hell of a match. You'll love to see it. So Murphy and Finn Balor retain the Raw Tag Team Championships. That was a hell of a match. And I can't wait to see how Murphy will fare against Roman Reigns going into Clash of the Champions. As now Roman Reigns is kind of... At least Roman Reigns didn't take the fall. But Robert Roode is taking another big loss. It seems like even though he had an impressive run in the tournament, it just it feels like Robert Roode just can't get anything going in terms of championship momentum. But anywho, let's see what SmackDown has to offer here in Austin, Texas. So to kick things off, we have Samoa Joe taking on Universal Champion Drew McIntyre. And both men having a history as they've had a series of matches going throughout my GM mode as Drew McIntyre beats Samoa Joe. As McIntyre has a huge Universal Championship match going into Clash of the Champions against The Undertaker. And The Undertaker running in on Samoa Joe's behalf. And we're going to see if that's going to play any real uh, favor in Samoa Joe's corner, if you will. No, it does not matter because McIntyre gets a big win nonetheless in a one-and-a-half-star match. Yikes. But Drew McIntyre gets a big win over Samoa Joe. Continue that dominating run as Universal Champion. I gotta say, compared to all the other Universal Champions, Drew McIntyre is putting on a hell, hell, hell of a run thus far. As Riddle is cutting a charity promo, looking to get some fans here for SmackDown, and a good promo getting 5,000 fans. Next up, we have John Cena and RVD, both guys who, they've just been fighting a lot recently, and John Cena and RVD taking on each other once again here, as, we're going to see who's going to get a big win here, as John Cena, I believe, beat RVD the last time, One, two, can Cena three. get a big win here, as, yes, he does, a second straight win over RVD in a two and a half star match, you'll like to see it, as Dawkins also cutting a charity promo, as Dawkins will be heading into Clash of the Champions for... Uh, their tag team title matchup with the Street Profits against the Outsiders, which gets a good charity rating of 5,000 fans. And now we get Seth Rollins and Montez Ford. Very interesting. Both guys who have feuded over the last number of weeks, or last numerous of episodes. Uh, Montez Ford went crazy, killed Seth Rollins with a sledgehammer, and won the Universal title. But Seth Rollins... Beat him inside Hell in a Cell to regain the championship. So this is just a this is just another matchup in this interesting feud between both men. As now they're heading into a one-on-one -on -one matchup, but Montez Ford surprisingly getting a big win in a two-star match. As oh god, we're starting a new feud with these two. Good lord, these guys these guys just can't get enough of each other. As well, Rollins and Montez Ford. As Montez Ford getting a big one over Seth Rollins, and now Scott Hall cutting a charity promo, and an excellent promo getting 5,000 fans. Ooh, he's getting ready for their tag team title matchup, but coming up next is the main event, as the SmackDown Women's Champion Asuka teams up with Candice LeRae to take on Natalya and Sasha Banks. Natalya and Sasha Banks, former number one contenders for the SmackDown Women's Championship, but both women just not being able to get it done against either Rhea Ripley or Asuka. But then you have Candice LeRae, who, who hasn't really been doing much as of late on SmackDown. I mean, she's been doing some things here and there, but nothing too impressive. Whereas Asuka, who recently won the championship, is looking to get a big win here to get some momentum going into Clash of the Champions. So who is gonna, who's going to have that momentum? Let's, let's find out. As here we go, we're back in Austin, Texas for SmackDown. And speaking of SmackDown, here comes the SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka, who is coming off a title defense against Natalya after a botched, I believe, botched splash. And now out comes the SmackDown Women's Champion. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first... From Osaka, Japan, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka! Asuka, who in my GM mode is the third woman, third woman to hold the SmackDown Women's Championship. You have Rhea Ripley, 
Then you also had Shayna Baszler, but now you have Asuka, who's the SmackDown Women's Champion. And Asuka, who's getting ready for another title defense against Natalya, going into Clash of the Champions. She recently retained it, I think it was like last episode, where Asuka retained the SmackDown Women's Championship against... against Natalya, as now Asuka now. But again, this crowd, even though she's not a not a good person, she she's getting a very, very positive response here, which goes to show you just how popular she is. And now out comes the uh, her tag team partner, Candice LeRae, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, she's been having some problems with. Uh, Sasha Banks as of late and now just looking to get a massive win just to get a just a massive win here under her belt the poison pixie Candice LeRae and her partner representing the way from Anaheim California Candice LeRae this is possibly the way for Candice LeRae now in terms of championship success she really hasn't had that much I mean she is a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, but other than that, she really has not been able to get anything going in terms of championship success. So hopefully this is tonight is the start for her to kind of get back to that point where she can be considered a serious contender for the championship. Well, in order for her to do so, she's, she's got to coexist with Asuka here, and both women who kind of have a... Well, they don't really have much of a history... But Oz is going to kill you, Chance. And now out comes Natalia, Who... Oh, she's wearing the blue cat ears tonight. Again, despite being a... Despite being, like, a baby face, she's not getting a very, uh... Very positive one compared to Asuka, who is the heel here. Which kind of goes to show you just how popular Asuka is. Oh, well, I mean, she's, she does got some fans here. Very split. But Asuka with the blue cat ears, like, kind of uh, sporting the SmackDown colors. Oh, but, oh, but they're, like, just getting a very, like, very negative reaction there. This crowd is very split on Natalia, Which is very interesting. And now out comes her tag team partner... She's a multi-time women's champion in her own right, as this crowd very having more of a positive response to Sasha Banks here. As it's boss time, as Michael Cole would state. And from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks throwing the glasses, and now just that, again, that confidence. You'd love to see it. And I love how massive this arena is, kind of showing off the more, I, I guess you could say, its extremities. As the legit boss of SmackDown. Looking to get a massive win here. As Sasha Banks. Oh, but, oh, there, is, there was some booze there as... Sasha Banks, who has tried to go for the SmackDown Women's Championship before, has failed with numerous attempts, but Sasha Banks now. Now, here we go. Asuka and Natalya are going to start off here. Shades of what could possibly happen at Clash of the Champions. As here we go as Natalya is going to start things off, throwing Asuka into the turnbuckle. Now, big form to the face of Asuka. Stop to the midsection. Another stop. Three stops to Asuka. Natalya thinks it's over here. Cover on Asuka. No, a kick out at one. And now Natalia just setting Asuka up here. And now Dragon Screw Leg Whip into just slamming her leg down. Good lord. Oh, kick to the back of the knee of Natalia. Elbow to the knee of Asuka. And now Asuka now, or Natalia with a sit-out powerbomb, planting Asuka. Oh, and a tag to Sasha Banks here. 
Natalia and Sasha Banks having a history as Asuka and Sasha have feuded for the Raw Women's Championship beforehand. And Sasha Banks did get a big win over Asuka at Survivor Series 2020. So Sasha Banks and Natalya just wanted to prove something here. And a big neck breaker to Sasha Banks. And now again, Asuka taunting here. But Sasha Banks just going for a bit. Just draping her across that top rope. Now Sasha Banks in control, kick to the back of the knee. Oh, and a big roundhouse kick to the side of the ear. Oh, and just like when Oscar was trying to go for a tag, Candice LeRae cannot, cannot get the tag there. And just throwing Oscar into the top turnbuckle. And now look at this, off the top rope into a hurricane Rana goes Oscar. Covered by Sasha Banks here to get a miss. Massive win over the champion. No, and a two and a half. Very close. And now a bunch of punches to the face of Asuka. Now picking up Asuka. Off, off the apron. Into a bulldog goes Asuka. Now, uh, Sasha Banks is spouting off to the crowd. I think she's doing that way too much here. On oh, a tag to Candice LeRae. Asuka getting the hot tag, but, but Sasha Banks is right on her. Oh no, kick to the midsection of Sasha Banks. Now just a Russian leg sweep goes Sasha Banks. Now go for a springboard. Oh, ah. Uh, just missing that cross body. Um, there's a lot of taunting in this match. I'm very surprised. Swinging neck breaker from Candice LeRae. Now Candice LeRae going up to the top rope. What's Candice LeRae going to do here? A missile drop kick. Takes down Sasha Banks. Covered by Candice LeRae again. To get a win over Sasha here. But a one count. Oscar's getting ready to maybe break up, help uh, not make sure the pit wasn't broken up, but just slams her face down to the canvas. And now, and again, slamming the back for head down. That's Concussion City right there. And now Oscar tie back in. Oh! Went for a clothesline, but that was very smooth there. Can oh, no! Countered the hip attack. Clothesline by Sasha Banks. What a, what a, like, this, what, just what a combination there. Oh, now Sasha may have been looking to put Asuka in the corner, but Asuka fighting back. And now Asuka, arm trapped. Arm trapped, sit out, spine buster it looked like. Now Asuka going up to the second turnbuckle. Asuka maybe looking for Sasha Banks to get up here. Oh, kick. Now, second rope drop kick by Asuka. Cover on Sasha here to get a win over Sasha Banks here for Asuka. No, a kick out at two. Now, a bunch of punches to the face of Sasha Banks. Oh, no, stop. Clothesline again to Asuka. Sasha Banks is looking to prove her point against the SmackDown Women's Champion. Not getting it. I don't know what Sasha's going for here. No, again, I don't know what Oscar was or Sasha was doing there. As it looks like she was going all over the place. Just throwing Sasha Banks across the ring. And now just looking to pull that arm of Sasha Banks. And now tag back to Candice LeRae. And now Candice Ray looking to stop by that knee of Sasha Banks. Oh wait, went for a clothesline but just missed. Now a bunch of strikes to the face of Sasha Banks. Kick to the back of the knee. Big punch to the back of Sasha Banks. Misses the stomp. Stop to the arm of Sasha Banks. Stop to, stop to the knee. Just slams that arm down. 
And now big springboard moonsault by Candice Array. Now Candice Array now looking for that Gargano escape. Gargano escaped to Sasha Banks. Is Sasha gonna tap out here? But Natalia breaks it up. And just throwing Natalia out of the ring. And I don't even know what Candice is doing here. Now, look, hook of the leg of Sasha Banks. Cover. Two. Oh, Sasha may have passed out there. Cancer Ray gets a big win. Here are your winners. Asuka and Candice LeRae. The SmackDown Women's Champion Cancer Ray gets a big win. Sasha just wasn't really tagging into Natalia there. I don't know what was going on. I think it's Sasha trying to prove herself, but that might have been her downfall in this matchup. As Candice Array and Asuka get a big win. Mediocre match. Very interesting. As we end SmackDown's main event. So, big tag win for Candice Array and Asuka, but a very mediocre showing, though. But what is that going to mean for Candice Array going forward with that win over Sasha Banks? We'll find out in the next coming weeks. Is now we're gonna head into the uh, what kind of not what really matters, but what uh, who won this week? I guess you could say. As overall, Monday Night Raw had some great booking here tonight. Other than that one mid card match, Raw basically won across the board, and especially the main event. That main event definitely saved our skin right there. As so far, good booking for Monday Night Raw, but a poor opening for SmackDown. Uh, that's definitely not not great for SmackDown moving forward, but we're going to see the the viewership match quality B, quality B, 22,366 new fans. And now we got a ton of money going forward. Love tonight's Raw. Looking forward. Reigns and Rude working, working really well together. Tonight's Raw started strong and ended strong. Love Raw, but whatever happened to Jeff Hardy? We'll, we'll see. I heard Bobby Lashley beg the GM to get out of a match with me. Desperate for a win. The Rock just killed it. you love to see it. As again, Monday Night Raw is still number one on top. you love to see it. Now, I'm kind of curious to see how close it's going to be, especially with all those charity promos. It seems like SmackDown still isn't, just isn't there yet. Ooh, match card quality C, quality B. Oh, still, again, still over, just only a few, just only by a few, man. Just, well, we'll kind of go into the more accurate sense. Natalya and Sasha are an incredible tag team. Taker attacked Joe. SmackDown, you just signed Braun Strowman. That match with Drew McIntyre Joe was weird. Couldn't tell who got booed more. Kansas is on a great run right now. When was the last time she lost? Drew gets payback on Joe. Get a varied show here, but again, very, very close in terms of, like, analytics, though. But Raw, Raw is still on top here, and if I'm not mistaken, if I'm doing the math, that's, like, it's still very, very, like, Raw. Raw is still on the board, still very ahead, and SmackDown just... Can, now is starting to struggle here in terms of ratings. So the question is, can Raw keep up this momentum going into Clash of the Champions? We're going to find out. As, guys, the next episode will be Clash of the Champions, which will more than likely be tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, this video will be up uh, tonight. So if you guys want to check that, check this episode out, go and do so. As next episode will be Clash of the Champions, guys. Get hyped. So, guys... Thank you so much for watching. This is the Austinator signing out. Peace.